Bienvenidos a Colombia Antigua. La historia es para compartirla sin egoísmo. Es por eso que cada video tiene el enlace y la información de dónde fue descargado. Esperamos que los videos y la información sean útiles para usted. This was the hijacked SAM plane's second of three stops on Aruba. The two masked, long-haired terrorists had ordered the pilot to fly the turboprop to Lima, Peru. But there was engine trouble and Captain Jorge Lucena had to turn back. The night before, the hijackers had made him fly to El Salvador, then, without landing, to Aruba. Fifty-eight passengers were set free or escaped as armed police ringing the terminal watched, apparently under orders not to move in. The desperados had threatened several times to take violent action, including one promise to blow up the plane and everyone aboard. One of the fleeing passengers was injured when he fell, and the hijackers made no sign of interfering as airport first aid workers came to his rescue. He was not badly hurt. There had been 89 people aboard the four-engine plane when it left Medellin, Colombia Wednesday under the hijackers' orders. Only 25 hostages and six crew members remained aboard when the plane flew into Lima today from its final landing on Aruba. As the plane sat in the tropical heat, the hostages suffered, and hijackers negotiated with airline officials. Airport sources said the airline offered to pay $35,000 ransom, but the terrorists had rejected that amount. As the plane took off on the next leg of its checkerboard journey across Latin America, the hijackers had been given no money and finally left with nothing having relented on their threat to blow up the plane. When the ship reached Lima and finally landed there, the hijackers allowed 14 more passengers to escape. Doug Ramsey in New York.